sure.
took away your sin, when he brought you near by the blood, did he actually do something to you to change you? Or do you still need to be changed? Oh, I know we're learning and growing. I guess I'm talking about the fabric of your heart. I know we're learning okay. and growing, but I guess I'm, I'm talking about the substance of your spiritual being. If we were to again. cut you open on a spiritual operating table, what would you look like on the inside? I know that up in our head, our computer is operating and we're getting thoughts and getting perspectives and learning things. But I'm not talking about the head. I'm talking about the heart. The kind of Jesus, something that's already taking place in the perfect Jesus. We're going to discover that your wishes have already been fulfilled. What that means is the first is that your whole heart does belong to God. You know, Romans chapter 6 says that you were a slave of sin, but you became obedient from the heart. That's not progressive. Paul's not saying that on Monday and then Tuesday and then Wednesday you progressively get more obedient. No, he's making a heart statement. source of 
ideas that we need to do the latest thing. You need to fast. You need to Yes. Yeah. 
even in today's verbiage, in today's lyrics.
Jocko Underground Podcast number seven with Echo Charles and me, Jocko Willink. Good evening, Echo. Good evening.
you know, I was probably like 13, 14. to another edition of the Seed Time Money Podcast. I'm Coach Bob Waddick. This is where we help you transform your financial life using timeless biblical principles. Hey, everybody. I am excited today. We have Mark Hall, who wrote this book called Spiritual Wealth. It's a guide. I like how he says it. It's a 40-day to developing a stewardship mindset. Stewardship is one of those really important topics.
has been one of those things. Since becoming a father, it's like, wow, this is a big, really important area of stewardship that I've never even considered before.
God's given us the ability to, to share the kingdom with others. Are you spending your your dollars and your gifts and your resources in a way that pleases me? And it's not just in terms of pleasing yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and I think as you're saying talking about this analogy, the father and son thing, I can't help but think like with my my son six years old at this point and Thank <laughs> you. 